Anyway, I was doing everything and anything, being a single mother, trying to uh -huh. keep the, the bills paying uh, and all the rest of it. So I ended up then eventually working in the state agency. And I really liked that because mm -hmm. to me, it's a people job. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a gift of the gap with our builders. I'd hurry our builders. And all yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got on great with them, you know. <laughs> so they always threw me into the new, put her in there with the builders. <laughs> so uh, it was grand. But uh, I was working for Peter Rogers when he opened his Bangor office. Right, yeah, yeah. I was managing that office. And... Uh, Peter, Peter Adam, the one he was born with, making me manager. But anyway, <laughs> we did do really, really well. But then I got, uh, I joined the Green Party in, what was it about? Yeah, about uh, in uh, January of uh, 2011. Yeah, it probably was about that. Uh, anyway, then um, in March, I had a brain hemorrhage, uh, an aneurysm burst up here, they mm. said, yeah, and uh, all the rest. So when I went back to work, then the state agency was really going through the doldrums and all mm -hmm. that, and I had a feeling that Peter was thinking of closing the office. Okay. So I more or less cornered him and made him tell me straight out. I'd only just got back to work, yeah. but um, anyway, he, did, he admitted then that yes, it was closing at the end of the month. Okay. So I happened to say to Stephen Agnew, look, I'm losing my job at the end of the month, um, so anything that's going, let me know. And he said, you didn't apply for PA with me, and I said, sure didn't know you were looking for one. So I put in my application. And I thought he was just being polite. Uh -huh. you know, I thought, there's no way. You know. So I arrived up in the great hall and storm into this interview and thinking to myself, what am I doing here? Anyway, girl, there's much chance. But I'm sitting there <laughs> and Stephen came down then and brought me up for this interview. And they, were, they tried to do it all formally with sitting behind the desk and me sitting there, you know. And I just thought, well, whatever, you know. So I just went for it. And uh, they asked me, you know, now I would like you to be able to do this, that and the other. And could you do research? I could do that all right, sure, you know, and, um, yeah. Yeah. So, and Stephen was laughing at one point, but I just uh -huh. thought, you know, I'm just, I'm just killing time here, yeah. but sure. So the next day he phoned me and he said, uh, want to offer you the job? Well, I roared and laughed. I thought he was just right now. Uh -huh. He said, there's something I don't know that you're laughing. <laughs> 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 but that was me up in Stormont then. Uh, so I was up with him for about three and a half years and it's an, an entirely different I was going to say yeah, it's a bit it's of a parallel a universe up there. Yeah. It really is, you know. But uh, I enjoy. I enjoyed. I got on great with the security staff and all that, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And again, that was just me, just down. Yeah. You know, the tea ladies and all that was just me. And the other, you know, the ones who think they are somebody, they didn't impress me in the slightest. We were beside the shinners because uh, we were like a buffer zone. You know, they had uh, they had the TV yeah. on one side, uh, us in the middle, and then the uh, shouldn't be up here. You know, so we were. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No man's land. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so you, you saw them every day. It was good. I enjoyed it up there, but... Uh, That's brilliant. Then, then they, they decided to run me as a candidate, and uh, I was lucky enough to get elected. So, and then I, I just, there was, so mm -hmm. I just went independent. And yeah. I have to say, it, it works much better for me, because I'm actually greener than some of the greens. I'm not talking, you know, yeah, yeah. Greens, you know yeah. I, this, yes. the emotions that I've brought yeah. have been very green emotions and yeah. stuff. And I still have a lot, an awful lot in common, but I just yeah. don't want to. I mean, they've, they've tried to get me back and all that, and, and fair play to them and all the rest. And I do really, I'm really fond of, of yeah. them, but I don't want it anymore. I just want no. to do my own thing, and I have no ambitions to go to the big house. No. No, not at all. I like the local stuff. You I, do? I like the, you? I like the ordinary, just ordinary yeah. Joe blogs in the street. Yeah. Saying to me, whatever, la, 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 and me getting it fixed. That, 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 yeah. That's really, because that's important to that. that of course person, it is. You know, yeah. And that's the stuff that I like doing. Mm. Uh, I'm very much hands on. And so that's where, where, that's brilliant. That's where I'd like to stay. I'd love to get another go with it, but that would be down to the people themselves. Ah, you know, and yeah. I'm very lucky to do what I do because you meet so many different people. The opportunities that you get to meet yeah. people are really good. And uh, I enjoy it. And, uh, even with the council staff, because they're so used to standing in ceremony and being so formal. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and that I doesn't just, fit with you, does it? I don't fit, it doesn't fit no. me at all. I, every time they say to me, Councillor Robinson, I don't want to stop that. So they, they've started gradually now to call me Noel. You know, there's uh -huh, still a yeah, couple of diehards yeah. who won't. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs>